So what are you dealing with? You're dealing with the total message of destiny, which is the message of self-perfection. And while you are moving through the dimensions of yourself, you are viewing the various forms you have placed yourself into as excuses why you choose imperfection and do not want to take self-responsibility. So what is the point of self-forgiveness is to understand the key that everyone that do not want to take self-responsibility will give you the excuse that they cannot forgive themselves but only God can forgive them. So the very act of self-forgiveness place you equal with God and therefore the act of self-forgiveness is an act of equality with God in all facets of God because what God is given the authority to do is to forgive you while in fact by forgiving yourself you are taking that authority as yourself. Self-honesty is obviously to observe where you are not acting as perfection, as that which will be the best for all, which is perfection. Within the context of this reality, what's best for all is perfection. So therefore, that is your self-honesty. And then common sense is the ability to consider within the context of your limitation the workings of the system in terms of identifying what works for everyone and what doesn't work for everyone. That in itself is an act of perfection within the context of the design of the system. And that is the first point one must do, stand equal as the system, as the system within its design is perfect and follow the rules of the design. The very moment you allow those rules to become fickle, you become less than the system and then you're immediately imperfect within the context of your environment. Your environment then determines, in a way, who you are, whether you are self-perfected within it or whether you're not. Then, therefore, yeah, you'll go through manifestations of the personified self, which is a projection of your idea in this reality based on the feedback that you are getting which is happening at the level of your symbolic self because you're existing within this reality in real time, quantum time, as the symbolic self that is the resonant self and you're existing within what you would call your conscious self that conscious self is your projection of the excuses of why you are the way you are and why you can do nothing about it. That moves in extreme slow time and is utilizing a peculiar way of existence where the resonance will send a thought into your conscious awareness and you will either accept or reject the thought and accordingly you will define yourself without realizing if you really slow it down that you never actually even had the thought that the result of the thought is the impulse symbolic structured design within which you exist in this reality which you've been taught by those that came before you as a methodology to survive within this reality and that that survival impulse is the primary driving force within your existence and that is based on for instance a relationship and the bringing forth of new members of the human race within which you can clone yourself which is what a parent do with a child the child is just a clone of the parent simplistically the parent will impose on the child more than they did themselves therefore the parent will expect from the child a sense of perfection and thus use all the mistakes they made in their own life in showing the child what mistakes they should prevent which is purely an act of self-perfection the problem is because it's not understood exactly how it operates the opposite happens 
a polarity is created because the parent is expecting perfection without explaining how perfection actually operates. Now, within the structural resonance alignment, we are going to explain the very nature of perfection, which is programming. Within a program, you can design the structured specificity of the outcome, which is an act of God, to program reality to a particular standard of existence, of form. All form is a program. And currently, the human is less than the form that exists because it refused to take the responsibility for the design that is here and has created an energetic reflection of it, which is a mirror effect of it. That means it has taken the energy that comes from the form as if that is reality. Well, that, in fact, is only the way one con yourself not to be conscious of the conscience you require to be able to handle with the consequence of what you allow if you do not consider the nature of form within the context of your existence here. The existence on earth is simply an interaction between forms. In that interaction exist relationships. The definition of these relationships determine the outcome of the relationship. In accepting the definition of the relationships and the systems as they exist now, one is automatically responsible because you determine the nature of the relationship. Therefore, this reality of form is a reality of relationships. And this relationship determines everything that happens in this world. And who's God within this? It is the human. And the human is not accepting the principle that one can perfect yourself within the participation, design and definition of relationships. And that is what you're really busy with, self-perfection. That is the point destiny is busy with. That is what is busy happening in heaven, self-perfection. You're either going to take that responsibility of perfecting yourself through self-honesty, self-responsibility, self-forgiveness and common sense, which are all acts of God, acts of perfection. Or you're going to have an excuse and be a whiner and feel sad and feel emotional and feel like everything is against you while it's only you that's against you because you're not willing to take that act of self-responsibility. You're not willing to walk the time and space for it to form into the information that reflects in all ways, as above, so below, your perfection within how you live, breath by breath. Guarded 